Let me go with uh, Kyle first. Kyle, I was shocked by what I saw um, this weekend in, um, in Baltimore, but this is happening all across the country, isn't it? It is, and, and what I think people find so outrageous is that these town hall meetings are really a farce. Because what's happening is you've got the bureaucrats coming in. They've got their very you know, well-scripted agenda of what they want to accomplish. They want to talk about how great Common Core is. They want to have their, their fellow bureaucrats talk about how great Common Core is. And then they just happen to not get around to the difficult questions. And so we see this sort of thing play out. And so I think it's critical that parents continue going to these meetings. They continue raising questions. They continue videotaping what's going on. And so I really commend uh, your other guests in what they did in uh, raising awareness about what's going on. Okay, so, uh, I mean, uh, we were just talking about that. Cindy just said that there's a, a meeting in Baltimore, uh, Aaron, uh, for this school board on October 1st, but tomorrow is the one you really should go to. Well, both. The October 1st is another forum like what was last Thursday night, so it's a, a time for people to get their questions answered about Common Courts in Prince George's County. Yeah, and hopefully this time they'll have an open mic and not be screening questions. And then tomorrow's meeting is the monthly state school board meeting, which is open to the public. Great opportunity for public comment, and people need to check into that on the Maryland State Department of Ed's website so they can know how to do it. So, John, let me, let me go to you because I can't, for the life of me, if a company treated you this way, you'd sell your stock and you'd get out. But you can't sell your stock. It's, they've got your children. You have, to, you're, you have to continue to pay into it. You, uh, I mean, you, and you have no say whatsoever. What, how is this even legal, constitutional? I mean, this seems just so inherently wrong. It is inherently wrong. I've been handling these cases for, you know, 30-some years. Uh, and like the gentleman said, this is happening all across the country. They really don't want us to speak back. And, you know, uh, as Martin Luther King says, if we want to change things, we've got to have strong First Amendment activity. Robert Small did it. And I think we need more people to get involved. And, I mean, we've reached out to Robert Small trying to contact him. I'd love to take this case on because... Uh, these are not debates. When you have written questions and you can't ask a question, and if you accidentally brush against a policeman today, by the way, that's second degree assault. We've seen it. And so the schools are in a terrible mess. As I show my book, A Gum of the Wool, zero tolerance policies now. We're eight year old. Recently was charged with terrorism for having a paper gun and going bang, bang, I'm going to shoot you. A 12 year old is taken away in handcuffs for dueling on her desk. So what we're seeing, the schools are becoming organs of compliance and when you have the federal government running this from a centralized bureaucracy with with, with these uh, curriculums uh, I mean there's not gonna be much freedom anymore so if you want to take the school system back I tell people get involved Robert Small was right and I'd love to defend this guy well you are there so people know the, the, he's the man who just took on the Pop-Tart gun and the paper gun and everything else and wins. <laughs> so Robert would be in good hands. By the way, you guys just put up a Facebook page, didn't you, for Robert? Yes, we did. He was inspired by Robert. It is uh, Don't Be Cattle, Stop Common Core on Facebook. Okay. And it's a good way for people to get in touch now with things that are especially going on in Maryland, but about Common Core. Okay. Yeah, the, the small family is uh, in the process of setting up a legal defense fund, so we'll be able to post information about that and how we can help Robert. Okay, back in just a second.